Donald Trump. Unlike every other American president, he's been oddly chilled out about Russian aggression towards the US. And now, he's basically giving a giant shrug to one of Russia's deadliest schemes yet. It's been widely reported that the US has intelligence indicating that Russia paid bounties or offered to pay bounties to Taliban fighters to kill American right. soldiers. Right. You had a phone call with Vladimir Putin on July 23rd. Did you bring up this issue? No, that was a phone call to discuss other things. And you've never discussed it with him? I have never discussed it with him, no. Uh, it never reached my okay. desk. You know why? Because they didn't think it was intelligence. They didn't think it was real. It was they in your didn't written think... brief, though. Do you read your written brief? I do. do I read you? it a lot. Really? You know, I read a lot. They like to say I don't read. I read a lot. Uh, your, your I, daily I comprehend extraordinarily well. Okay, first of all, I actually believe Trump when he says that this intelligence briefing never reached his desk. Because, I mean, his desk is so full of Goya beans, where were they gonna put the files? But it is bizarre that Trump is the most impulsive president ever, except when it comes to Russia. I mean, people are protesting against the police, and he's like, we gotta send in the troops, break it up, people, we gotta destroy them. But when Russia is putting bounties on American troops, he's like, they're only lashing out because we hurt them. Like Dr. Jen says, hurt people, hurt people. I mean, I guess I can understand where Trump is coming from. It is super awkward bringing up to your buddy how he put a bounty on your soldiers' heads. You know, you're talking sports, you're talking chicks. You don't want to ruin the vibe with how he's spearheading a campaign to compensate enemy combatants for killing your troops. Zero chill, man, zero chill. And finally, an update on the protests that have been shaking Portland. Just moments ago, the governor of Oregon says federal agents are looking at leaving the city in a, quote, phased withdrawal. Those were the governor's words. However, this was President Trump appearing to dismiss that idea this morning. You hear all sorts of reports about us leaving. We're not leaving until they've secured their city. If they don't secure their city soon, we have no choice. We're gonna have to go in and clean it out. You wanna clean out Portland? Well, that's a good idea. I mean, you guys left a lot of tear gas canisters and flash grenades lying around the place. Look, this Portland thing has been very scary for America as a whole. And I'll tell you now, it's been especially scary for black people. I mean, Portland is the whitest city in America and they're still sending in federal troops to use overwhelming force I mean, if that's what they're willing to do there, who knows what they're willing to do to minority groups? It's like seeing a white person kick a golden retriever. Yo, if that dog isn't safe, you damn well know your black ass isn't. You know, one thing that's weird for me is seeing how enthusiastic so many conservatives have been about sending federal troops to arrest American citizens. Because for years, that is one of the things they were most afraid of. In fact, back in 2014, President Obama deployed federal agents to confront a group of ranchers who were trespassing on federal land. And well, just uh, check out how different the response was back then. The president is expanding the effort to protect federal property in Portland. Portland now sending 100 more agents. Operation Legend is a beginning. It's greatly needed in all of these cities. I am having a hard time understanding why the government would create a confrontation like this. The government has gone way overboard here, and I think they need to pull back fast. The city of Portland has been under siege. Federal DHS and DOJ officers and agents have been deployed to keep the mobs in check. As we watch the estimated 200 federal agents and local law enforcement surround the ranch, the word of this evening is tyranny, as in the army arbitrary, unrestrained exercise of power. When somebody looks at lawlessness and says it's a local problem, you can do that to dismiss all bad behaviors. Even though there's some lawlessness involved here, it's, oh, we, you, the inclination is to be for the individual, even if the individual may have broken some laws. For more than a month, mobs of violent, crazy people have roamed this country, terrorizing citizens. It's the armed agents who are scarier. And so how could look. you look at this and say, Cliven Bundy's the one who threatens America. When the DHS deployed federal law enforcement officials to protect the city's federal buildings, they were accused of, quote, acting like an occupying army. The federal government needs to pull back. They need to think about what is the end game here? Are they willing to tase people, fight people? I saw one picture of a bloodied up woman, an elderly woman that was thrown to the ground. 200 agents, snipers surrounding a ranch. Seems a little over the top to me. It's over the top, it's very strong. Huh. I wonder what the difference was between now and black then. I guess we'll never know.